Hello there, my Scorpio Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Scorpio, there's some positive energy coming in with you. Keep focused. This is like, stay focused on the prize energy, because some of you, this is like playing carnival games. Uh, so this is interesting. That's almost like fairy godmother sort of energy, right? The power of optimism with you. It's like a make a wish. Ooh, the nine of cups with the nine of cups. This is like good vibes for you. King of cups at the bottom. Ooh. If you have feelings, you have emotions, you're very kind of stoic in that energy. So I definitely feel like you're hard to read in regards to relationships or partnerships, Scorpio. Oh, five of swords there. Damn, with the Hierophant energy. Oh, my oh my. My oh my. Some of you go take communion or something that you haven't taken in a while. I like this energy with you. This is like upgrading energy. There's a very sort of stoic uh, it's stoic. It's kind of the sort of vibe with you. Ooh. So, damn, you're definitely hard to read. But I like that. You've definitely made some switch-ups, some changes. This is some good energy, Scorpio. There's the Three of Cups. There's the Three of Pentacles. 33 energy here. I feel like you need to just have fun. Let go. Uh, focus on what's important to you. Aquarius could definitely be sort of bringing in the switch up in energy with you because you notice the sort of movement on the dress. This is almost like the Santa Ana winds, uh, Scorpio. So you're probably turning down offers and opportunities. There's like a switch up in energy with you. There's definitely like an upgrade in energy with you too. So your intuition is going to be on point. So trust it. There's that Ace of Pentacle energy. Very grounded and focused. Ooh. Definitely watch your favorite astrologer. Uh, Scorpio. Some of this could definitely be astrological with you. There's that sort of Knight of Wands inspiration. Oh, my creative Scorpios. Stay creative. I like this energy with you. Basis of this is the Three of Wands. So I'm liking this energy. Three of Pentacles, Three of Wands. There's definitely some optimism with you. There's that page of pentacles. That's sort of like, uh, find a penny, pick it up. I feel like there's like blessings energy around you. But it's it's the power of positivity. There's that two of cups. Ooh. There's the ace of swords. So you could be making a choice, deciding about a relationship or partnership here, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be romantic with that two of cups vibe there. This could be a good working relationship or partnership. Those of you Scorpios, if you've happened to pull focus on your religion, this could be that sort of grounded focus energy with you on that. Mm. This is a very interesting time for you. That's for damn sure. Definitely look, watch your favorite astrologer. Pay attention to your astrology on this. Because I feel like the right sort of energies are going to find you. Definitely feel like you're making the right sort of decisions in regards to whatever this sort of energy is with you. The Knight of Wands, you got the Strength card. There's that King of Pentacles energy. My, oh my, you're very grounded and focused. There's a lot of knowledge energy around you, too. I love this Ace of Cups above you. High Priestess energy. So your intuition is definitely on point. You're trusting your guidance energy. That Nine of Wands. I don't know. If you're a praying Scorpio, stay prayed up. Some of you, maybe need to go fucking take communion or something along that line. There's the Eight of Wands. Definitely watch your favorite astrologer. This could be your Saturn, your Jupiter. Some of you, maybe your moon notes have uh, switched on you. This is good vibes for you. There's that emperor energy. You're definitely making some decisions. There's the Aries. Oh, and there's the sort of Piscean energy with the moon. Maybe some of you have an Aries moon or a Pisces moon. Some of you, this is just, 
I, I, I mean, I don't know. Scorpio, you just need to sort of trust your intuition right now. Relationships or partnerships, Scorpio, some of you that have stayed like sort of stuck or stagnant in that, because I definitely feel like you have choices, you have options, you have opportunities. But what's the type of relationships or partnerships that's really going to be more meaningful for you? This could be a good working relationship or partnership. You're in that Ace of Cups. So in regards to your thoughts or feelings, you definitely know what it is that you're interested in. I don't feel like you're really, I don't feel like you're really like going for a relationship or partnership those. Uh, for some of you, this is sort of understanding yourself, allowing this sort of switch up of energy to come in for you. That two of cups is like a very positive connection. It's a very positive uh, relationship or partnership. There's far more healing to it. Uh, then, then maybe a romantic vibe with you. So whatever this is, definitely watch your favorite astrologer. Some of you, this could be astrological with you. Some of you, there could be a sort of spiritual element on this. Some of y'all maybe you need to go take fucking communion, right? Whatever this sort of balance that's coming in with you, I like it. It's a good energy. Good communication vibes with you too. Aquarius has really been very interesting, so you're going to be able to talk it out, work it out. There's a lot of communication with you. This is a lot of positive vibes as well. Those of you Scorpios, in regards to, it's, if you're single, you're single by choice. I feel like you have choices, you have options, you have opportunities. But what's really more important to you? Some of you, it's better working relationships or partnerships or moving forward in healthier relationships or partnerships. So Scorpios, don't be surprised if you surprise yourself in regards to uh, who or what you find attractive. There is this like luck energy around you, and I don't feel like it's conventional like luck. Uh, trusting your intuition, going with the flow. Some of you need to just pray on it. Uh, this can be a sort of spiritual thing with you. So my oh my, spiritual, spiritually, astrologically with you. Things are definitely switching up because you notice on that three of cups energy, right? It's like the winds energy. So some of you is changing up sort of your viewpoint on things, focusing more on you. So if you were indecisive in regards to relationships or partnerships, Scorpio, don't be surprised if you find yourself making some interesting choices. Some of you, it's not always romantic. So this could be a good working opportunity with you over a romantic relationship or partnership. Some of you, your moon nodes could be switching up on you as well. So take what's yours, Scorpio. Leave what the fuck is it, right? A lot of clarity with you, so you should be able to communicate your thoughts, your feelings. Look at this, 33. So I like this 33 vibe with you. Uh, create your reality. Damn Scorpios. You were in some good fucking energy here. So this is the power of positivity. This is definitely looking at things from a different perspective, Scorpio. I feel like you're more in control of your sort of emotions now. So if it came to decisions in regards to relationships or partnerships, work, love, life vibes with you. This is that sort of clarity coming in. I don't feel like you're as thirsty, uh, Scorpio. So some of you in regards to relationships or partnerships, I feel like you're working on healing that part of yourself. It's a very healing energy. Uh, there's a lot of healing with this. So damn. Damn. If it's spiritual with you, some of y'all need to take communion. Others of you, this could definitely be astrological with you. In regards to, it's like a good release energy, Scorpio. It's, it's trusting your intuition in regards to things. I feel like you're far more in control over that sort of uh, over-emotional connections. 
So, Scorpios, those of you that's making decisions in regards to relationships or partnerships, you're able to do that from a completely different standpoint. This does feel like a blessings energy. It almost feels like a, a baptismal energy with you. So, I don't know. If it's religious with you, Capricorn or Scorpio, it's religious. If it's not, uh, it's going to be astrological. Damn, Scorpio. This is a beautiful energy, Scorpio. So, my oh my. You're able to communicate. So, this is that sort of power of uh, communication. You're able to talk it through, work it through. Definitely more healing relationships or partnerships. So, Scorpios, some of you might surprise yourself. This is definitely very interesting. Some of you, this could this could seem a little intense, but it's like it's like a good uh, vibe with you. Stay moisturized. Stay hydrated. What is this thirty three? Create your reality in regards to Scorpio. Mm. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. The bottom of the deck is the Page of Cups. So, Scorpio, create your reality. You got the Fool energy, you got the Magician energy, and you got the Gemini energy, the Lover's energy. This is androgynous. This is androgynous. The full energy is like a uh, pan, right? That plays the flute. There's that magician energy. And then there's that sort of lover's vibe. Scorpio, those of you that are single, those of you... Choices in regards to relationships or partnerships. Some of you could be attracting new energies to you. But there's sort of more to it. Some of you, even if there's a sort of a religious element to this, there's more to it. Um, I don't feel like it's a relationship or partnership. Maybe some of you looking into the sort of healthy relationships or partnerships. There's a lot of sort of clarity energy here. What the fuck is that Three of Cups in regards to Scorpio? With that sort of androgyny, it doesn't have to be romantic relationships or partnerships. How some of you could be uh, looking at Adam and Eve, right? Reading the, uh, the Bible, looking at things from a different perspective. It's either religious energy with you or it's a sort of astrological sort of energy with you. So you could be thinking of the philosophical questions. A lot of because this is sort of philosophical with you. Some of you I don't feel like it's a romantic relationship or partnership that you're gonna find more fulfilling. Uh, it could be a good friendship. Looking at things differently. What is this Three of Cups? In regards to Scorpio. Way too much energy on that. Look at that shit. So the Three of Cups vibe with you. Scorpio. The Knight of Swords. There you are, Scorpio. Crown on that, you got the Seven of Wands. Regards to establishing healthy relationships or partnerships. So you got choices, you got decisions here. 
It's the Queen of Swords to the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you, this is good working relationships or partnerships. This actually feels like you could be sort of branching out as well. Because I like that androgyny on this with you, uh, Scorpio. Not everything is all about romance. This is like a one-size-fits-all. This is like a unisex-type vibe. There's the Nine of Cups. The Aquarius energy, and there's that Page of Cups. Damn! Scorpio, some of you, it's going to be a good working relationship or partnership or looking at things from a different sort of perspective. This could be your fucking yin-yang coming together with you. So this could be that sort of uh, balanced energy coming in in regards to your sort of masculine or feminine. This is like yin-yang energy. Scorpio, some of you, make sure you don't sort of over-bombard yourself. If you're looking at things from a religious perspective, some of you could be putting a little bit of sort of... Uh, Eastern philosophy on top of it, and then you got this sort of astrological energy here. Some of you, there's just so much here, but you don't, it's not that sort of complicated with you. So that Ace of Swords is kind of, uh, just, <laughs> some of you could just be deciding what sort of vibe you're in. So don't overwhelm yourself by looking at things from too many sort of perspectives. Especially if that's kind of what you find yourself doing. Now, for some of you Scorpios not even realizing it, this is that sort of beautiful alignment coming in for you. Those of you that just sort of go with the flow. For some of you, this is like religious energy. For others of you, this could be that sort of Eastern type of philosophy. And then others of you, this sort of astrological. This is a good energy. So definitely be mindful while you're manifesting uh, this is like the power of fucking positivity, baby. There's like good energy for you. It's like a luck energy, but it's not like lucky in that sort of sense of the word. You know what I mean, Scorpios? There's that hermit energy. Whew. Don't overthink and don't overcomplicate something. Because some of you could just be trying to, just trying to do too much. So, in regards, some of you, this is like philosophical energy with you. So, if you're trying to, if it's religious with you, right, it's looking philosophically. Some of you asking the big philosophical questions. Some of you could be just a little too scattered here in regards to what it is you're looking at, right? Some of you, it's religious. Some of you, there's that sort of Eastern philosophy on it. Others of you, this sort of astrological energy, I feel like it culminates in a really interesting sort of vibe with you. So definitely trust your intuition here. So you could find the right sort of energy that works for you. Some of you, this could be a good working relationship or partnership. This could be that sort of balance coming in for you. I like that sort of unisex energy, that sort of androgyny here. So I don't feel like it's a romantic connection. Others of you, this sort of astrology is really interesting as well. So, damn. Some of you just need to trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition on something. Because it's really not that complicated. So don't try to over-philosophize something. Or you're just going to confuse, confuse your own fucking self. You know what I mean? Uh, Scorpio. I feel like you need to just, it's like serendipity with you. Just kind of go with the flow. Trust your intuition on something. It's good energy. I feel like you need to make a wish. This is like good sort of positive vibes with you. It's luck, but it's not lucky. So that's what I like about that with you, uh, Scorpio. So definitely make sure you're positive. Definitely make sure you're looking at things from a more positive perspective. Don't overwhelm yourself either. Because my, oh my Scorpio, some of you, just trust your intuition on something.
this is really that energy. Someone that's looking at it from a religious standpoint and someone over here looking at it from like an Eastern philosophy type vibe. And then you got this astrology over here. Be graceful and uh, be gracious, uh, Scorpio. So make sure that you're giving thanks. Send that sort of thankful, peace, love, light energy out there. Your intuition is definitely on point. So don't overcomplicate something. Especially when it comes to like uh, the philosophicals, right? What did I say? Make a wish, Scorpio. I feel like it's that sort of energy with you. 32 growth energy, which is emperor energy with you. Emperor, empress vibes. But my oh my. Some of you Scorpios, I don't think this is like a romantic relationship or partnership with you. Some of you, this could just be that yin and yang coming in for you. Because I like the androgyny on this. So that androgynous energy keeps it open for a lot of sort of possibilities. It could be a good working relationship or partnership. This could be the yin-yang coming in with you. Don't overcomplicate something. It's a very fertile energy. So definitely be very mindful. Trust your intuition right now too, Scorpio, because that's really going to make the difference. And for fuck's sake, yes, make a wish, but make it like positive. There's like luck energy around you, but it's not like conventional luck. So, you know, it, it's the power of fucking positivity with you. There's a lot of growth energy around this. So this could be you growing as a person. So maybe you are waxing philosophical about, you got religious energy here. Some of you Eastern philosophy, some of you astrology. Don't sort of confuse yourself or con confound yourself with too much. Trust your intuition. I definitely feel like your intuition is on point. It's definitely very fertile, creative energy. So when you make that wish, make it a good one. Damn, Scorpio. Ooh. Waxing philosophical. So, damn. Astrology, religion, and some Eastern sort of philosophy on that. So, my oh my. But there you are. So you might surprise yourself, Scorpio, in regards to relationships or partnerships. Don't limit yourself either, uh, Scorpio. Some of you are sort of limiting your opportunities. So make sure that you're not doing that. Ooh, anything else for Scorpio? Anything else for Scorpio? Ooh, I love this energy with you, Scorpio. This is fun. You might surprise yourself, though. Yeah, four swords. Sit your ass down. Two of wands. The power of positivity. Take what's yours and leave what the fuck isn't, too, in regards to this energy, Scorpio. Some of you just really trust your intuition on something. This is definitely the power of positivity, too. So uh, make sure you keep that sort of energy positive, right? Some of you, something's really not all that complicated. Definitely trust your intuition here, because I definitely feel like your intuition is on point. Between the two of uh, wands and the four of swords, the six of pentacles, that sort of balanced energy coming in. Oh my god, definitely the power of positivity, Scorpio. So be mindful of the energies you partake in as well. There's good communication, so you should definitely be able to work through this energy. Feels like there's a lot of philosophical, so don't overwhelm yourself with that. Don't confound yourself by trying to... Make it all work. This is sort of like you have faith or you don't, right? Healthy boundaries here. Ooh. <laughs> Take what your Scorpio. Leave what the fuck isn't. 
This is an interesting energy. This could seem rather intense, but it really shouldn't. So just trust your intuition on something. Some of y'all just sit your ass down. Don't overcomplicate something. This is a very good energy with you. Some of you, I don't think this is about relationships or partnerships. This could be you just sort of finding that yin-yang within yourself. Or whatever sort of energy you're attracting, it's a healthy sort of positive vibe. Some of you, in regards to the work that you do, that's a sort of androgyny on that. So, uh, you know, you could be expanding yourself to sort of uh, ac accomplish more. You know what I mean? Instead of staying sort of stuck or limited. Hmm. Good luck. God bless, Scorpio. Like, share, subscribe. Ring the bell if you are ever so inspired to, Scorpio. I love this energy with you. You're lucky, but it's not like conventional luck. So, this is very fun. Just sit your ass down and stay focused on the positive. And don't forget to make a wish. Peace, love, and light, Scorpio.